Dean, a point on the road, your thoughts? Yeah, look, respect the point. Um, difficult place to come, obviously, Solihull having a good season. I mean, you've got players like Sabara, Osborne and Maycock in midfield, they can make it difficult for you, but the position we got ourselves in were a tad bit frustrated that we didn't see the game out. In the first half, going a goal down and then being 2-1 at half-time, did that show the character of this group? Yeah, good players. Nicky got us a goal. Danny came in, played a fantastic ball over over sort of the shoulder of the, of the right side of the centre-back and a great goal by Nicky. And then, uh, obviously, the score quite soon after that was, was really good as well with the corner from Gormo to Tomo. So, the position we got ourselves in, we should have done better second half. Second half, we never really reached the heights. To be fair to them, they pressed us, they come after us, um, which we knew they'd do. I just don't think we did enough getting the ball from our back line into our front line with enough quality. So, and that cost us in the end. Laurie Walker made some absolutely magnificent foot saves, especially early in the second half. Uh, coming into the squad then these last couple of games, how have you rated his performance? Like, to be fair, the first goal was a bit frustrating. He got beat at his near post. The second goal, he got beat at his near post as well. So I know it's a decent strike and he's allowed in, in, uh, inside. Uh, too easy defensively for us. We don't want players coming on the inside of our defence. Um, yeah, look, he's, Laurie's an experienced goalkeeper. He's a good goalkeeper for the level. So. Um, I'm not here to rate the lads and all that kind of stuff. I keep all that private. We've got a good squad, we've got strength and depth, and uh, we'll definitely make some changes come Monday because we'll rotate. Because uh, the, the games are coming ticking fast, we need players fresh. We've got huge players missing. We've got Canu missing, you've got uh, Pritchard missing. We've got some big, big players still not available for us, so we need to get them back. The sooner we get them back, the better for us as a team. And especially today when they come fresh, you need a player like Canu who can ball carry. Um, that happened to us at Older Shot as well, where we were pressed. And uh, we didn't ball carry up the pitch well enough. We didn't have anyone to do it. So the sooner the better, Idris is back to better. Obviously, with a game now only like three days away, how, how does that work for you and the group over the weekend? Yeah, we're in. There's no holidays for us. Everyone's on the holidays. Not for us. We're in tomorrow. We're in Sunday. And we'll play, play, on, uh, we'll play on Monday. So another massive game for us. Uh, we're at back at home. So our supporters, I thought, today were outstanding. That's the voice we want to hear from them bring that to the hive on Monday, get the place buzzing. But it's not a foregone conclusion. I know Oxford beat Wheelstone today, so you know they, they can play with freedom, Oxford. From their point of view, we've got to be at it. You've got to be at it in every game in this division. So we've got to go in with our guard up and we've got to go after the opposition and make them defend. You mentioned about some of the players that you want to back, Pritchard and Carnu. What's the sort of time frame looking for those guys? I'm, I have to be honest with you. Uh, Carnu has had another accordance with his knee so we're not sure on that waiting for him to the scan and Pritchard is back training with the physio team with the medical team but we're not sure exactly how he's going to react it's a back injury so we've got to be so careful with it Dean thank you for your time Cheers,